hello everyone in this video i will show you how to use range filter map and reduce function these functions actually very helpful to reduce uh, number of lines in your program so let's see first of all what's the use of range function so this function actually used to generate a list automatically uh, you need to specify the starting element and you need to specify the element after the last element so let's say uh, i want to generate a list and i'm writing here range and let's say i want to generate a list from 1 to 10 so i need to give here first element comma and the second element i need to give that element has to be the element which come after the last element so i need to generate a list from 1 to 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so here I need to give 11. So it means this range function will generate a list from 1 to 1 element before this element. So it will be 1 to 10. So if uh, here we will, uh, here we are going to print every number of uh, this list by use of func uh, for loop or we can directly print it. Let's say print A. So I have saved this one with demo.py. I will open CMD. This file is stored on desktop. I will go to desktop and then I will run it. So if you can see a list is generated. So here if I will change this number and let's say I will make it 1001. So in that case if I will run it again. It will generate a list automatically from 1 to 1000. Okay, so this function is very helpful to generate a list automatically. Now let's say uh, from this list, I need to extract those numbers which are divisible by 3. So here comes the role of filter. So uh, in order to use this filter, you need to define a function. And in this function, we are uh, taking only one argument. And what we are returning? Uh, we are returning whether this uh, number is divisible by 3 or not. So we will use modulus operator equal equal 0. So here if this function if you will pass any number if we are passing 15 let's say 15. So 15 is divisible by 3. So mo uh, the modulus operator will return 0. This condition will be true and it will return true. Otherwise it will return false. So how a uh, filter function can be used? Filter function uh, is used in this way. Filter. So in filter function, first you need to pass your function, which will operate on this list. So I am passing here f. And then you need to pass your list. So our list is stored in a. And let's say store this new list in a another variable. And here I am printing b. So, uh, so this is a function. This function says that if a number is divisible by three, return one. Otherwise, return zero. This function filter. This function says that uh, filter element from this list in such a way that if a that element is divisible by three, take that element. Otherwise, leave it. So let's see the output. Then it will be more clear to you. So if you can see in this list we are having only number which are divisible by 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15. So this thing, so function actually filtered all the filtered element from this list and it has given only the element which are divisible by 3. Now uh, the another function we are going to see is map. This function, what, what is the use of this function? This function will take one function. So let's say uh, we are having a function. This function will return square of a number. And we have generated a list, a list from 1 to 10. So we need to specify 11. And here, how this function is used? In this function, first you need to specify the function which you want to operate. And sec second, you need to specify the list. So this function, what this function will do? This function will take 
each element from this list a one by one and that element will be passed in this function and it will return the result and that result will be stored in list b so in this list we are having here we are having number 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and what this map function will do this map function will actually call this function a for every element of list so it will call first f1 then it will call f2 then it will call f3 and so on so whatever number of element we are having in this list a for every element of this list a this function will be called and result we are storing in b so let's see what is the output of this one uh, so if you can see we are getting a square of every element so map function is used when you want to invoke a particular function for every element of a list now the last one which we are going to see in this tutorial is reduce and what is the meaning of uh, this reduce uh, so first of all we will define a function with two element what we want to do with this two element let's say this is a simple uh, add function and this function actually will return addition of these two element and this is our list this list is having 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so here if i will use reduce so what this reduce function will do this reduce function will call this function with first two element so these first two element will be passed in this function and as you can see this function is returning sum of these two number so after passing one and two in this function this function will return three so the list will be like this one and then reduce function automatically pass these two element from this list and pass it to function so our list will return addition of first two element which is six and the remaining list will be like this one next time first two element will be passed in the function and it will return 10 and then 5 6 7 8 9 10 then first again first two element will be passed it will return 15 and it will be 6 7 8 9 10 again it will pass 15 and 6 in function and function will return 21 7 8 9 10 so as you can see the number of elements are reducing and we are converging to a particular number so again this first two number will be passed 21 and 7 28 8 9 10 28 plus 8 36 9 10 36 plus 9 45 10 and then these two number will be passed and it will return 55 so this reduce function actually work in this fashion it will pass first two element in this function whatever function we are specifying here it will work accordingly whatever return value that return value will come in this list and then same process will be repeated so this reduce function should return 55 let's see the output so we will run our program so as you can see the output also 55 so reduce how it works it will keep on reducing the size of list it will pass first two element in the function it will operate and then uh, whatever result is returned it will call the uh, same function again with the return result and the next element this is the way how reduce functions function work thank you very much for watching